Ever wonder what to expect when receiving a hearing test? Well, in this video, I'm gonna cover the five evaluations that a hearing care professional will use to test your hearing. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, consider hitting the subscribe button. Chances are the last time you had your hearing tested was back in grade school. And that wasn't even a full hearing test, it was just a routine hearing screening. Which is crazy because for years individuals have been recommended to get routine dental cleanings and vision checks, but not routine hearing evaluations. But with the rising concerns of how hearing loss impacts not only communication ability, but cognitive function, hearing tests are actually being recommended more often. It's actually recommended to have your hearing tested as an adult every five years. But if you've had a confirmed hearing loss, you should be getting your hearing tested every year. So what are we actually evaluating when you come in to have your hearing test? Well, basically we're looking at the three different parts of your ear, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The outer ear is made up of your pinna and your ear canal all the way down to your eardrum. The middle ear is made up of your tympanic membrane, otherwise known as your eardrum, the middle ear cavity space, the ossicles or the three bones of hearing, and your eustachian tube. The inner ear is made up of the semicircular canals which control balance and the cochlea which controls hearing function. I also call this your hearing organ. Now that you know what we're testing, I'm gonna show you the five different things that we will use in order to evaluate the three different parts of your ear. The first thing we do is perform otoscopy. This is where we evaluate your outer ear by using an ear light or an otoscope to look inside of your ear canals. We do this to see if there's any obstructions and to visualize the eardrum. It may result in the removal of earwax or some other foreign object and possibly a referral to an ENT if there's a perforation in the eardrum. Once your ear canal is cleared, you can continue on with the hearing test. The second thing that we will do is air conduction testing. This is where a hearing care professional will put headphones on your ears or inserts in your ears. They will play you beeps for you to click a button or raise your hand. Trying to find the very softest sound that you can hear for low pitches, mid pitches, and high pitches. This evaluates all three parts of your ear at the same time because sound has to travel from the outer ear through the middle ear to the inner ear for us to be able to determine if you can hear the sound. These are indicated by the X's and O's that you'll see on your hearing test. The third part is bone conduction testing. This is where a hearing care professional will place a bone conduction device on your head that sends vibration directly through your skull into your inner ear. This vibration of the hair cells in your cochlea will cause you to hear the same beeps that you would hear when you wear the headphones or the inserts. But because this vibration bypasses your outer ear and middle ear, it only tests your inner ear. It can provide valuable insight into what is causing your hearing loss and where that hearing loss is located. Bone conduction scores are indicated by the brackets on your hearing test. The fourth part of your comprehensive hearing evaluation is speech recognition testing. This is where a hearing care professional will either say or play recorded words for you to repeat. The words will get softer and softer until we identify the lowest volume that we can play a word and still have you understand what word is being said. The score of this test is used to cross-check with your air conduction testing and is indicated in the speech test score results on your hearing evaluation. The fifth and final part of your hearing test is your word recognition score. This is where a hearing care professional will either say or play more recorded words at a comfortably audible level to see how accurately you can repeat those words. Sometimes we will need to amplify the words if you have a hearing loss. This test evaluates your ability not just to hear, but how well you understand speech. These percentages are recorded under the speech section of your audiogram. If you have a hearing loss, it will provide valuable insight into whether you will receive benefit from hearing aids. There you go, those are the five evaluations that we will use in order to test your hearing. These components will provide a hearing care professional with a foundational understanding of your hearing abilities. It is possible that a hearing care professional will decide to use additional tests on top of these five core things in order to get more insight into your hearing abilities as well. 
This can include things like speech and noise testing, acoustic reflexes, or tympanometry to see how well your eardrums are moving and to see if you have a healthy middle ear space. While a hearing test may seem basic, it's very important that the person testing your hearing has received proper training in order to perform the test and to evaluate the results. When it comes to hearing evaluations, a doctor of audiology is the highest trained hearing care professional in the field. All right, so if you haven't had a hearing test in the last five years, and really, who am I kidding, you probably haven't had your hearing tested since grade school, it's about time that you go out and you get that baseline hearing test. After you get that baseline hearing test, do yourself a favor and go in and get a hearing evaluation every five years if your hearing is normal, and every year if you have a confirmed hearing loss. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.